Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon to you all. It is 3.21 p.m. Uh, this Tuesday afternoon, and I am back at Culver's. It's, uh, it's been a real swiper of a day, to, to be honest. I mean, it's, uh, I've had a bit of chest congestion develop for one reason or another. Um, so I took some, uh, some Claritin, and we'll see. You know, I'm not drowsy or anything at the moment, and, uh, the cough has gotten a little bit better, so, you know, I, I decided, all right, let's do this. Let's do a review. Now, today's review is for the Buffalo Chicken Tenders from Culver's. Because what I always notice of a lot of these establishments, they may specialize on one thing, but they also have other things on the menu, too. Um, just like how pizza places, they might have wings on the menu, you know, there's Del Taco, a recent example. I realize they have burgers on the menu, too. They don't just serve tacos only. And Culver's is uh, just like that, too. They specialize in their butter burgers. Um, but they actually do have other things as well. They have chicken, they have some salads, they even have some soups, uh, to my understanding. And I got a few recommendations to try their chicken, their chicken tenders, buffalo or otherwise. I saw the buffalo chicken tenders and I thought, hey, this actually, you know, this looked like something I would be interested in trying out. So may as well give them a shot. So they're buffalo chicken tenders. First and foremost, these are not covered in a liquid sauce. I think when we here buffalo tenders, you expect them to be kind of dripping in a hot sauce. Um, this is rather a seasoned breading, so it's more of a dry rub of peppers and spices on them to still perhaps give the implication of heat and uh, buffalo sauce. So it comes with seasoned breading. Uh, the seasoning consists of chili peppers, paprika, and black pepper. Uh, so that's the three spices that are supposed to give it that spiciness. And uh, as described, it's, it's just begging begging to be dipped in blue cheese. Poor things. It's, uh, it comes in a four-piece or an eight-piece. Four-piece is uh, $5.32. Eight-piece is $10.64. That's all that I have here. Um, you can see the notes. My notes. Um, that was, that was a design. I was kind of brainstorming. I've been working on that all morning. Uh, maybe to put it on a t-shirt or something there. So, your thoughts on that are, uh, I appreciate it. Been working on a lot on that. Okay, let's get the notebook down here. And now let's see the product itself. So this is an eight piece. And uh, we'll remove the protective uh, false atmosphere, as they call it. It's like in a climate controlled dome right now, you can see. Um, but now we'll take this off. Let's see what we have. So here it is. It's a it's a plate. It's a plate of Culver's buffalo chicken tenders. You can see them there. There they are. And there they are underneath, underneath my head. There they are, close up, the close up shot. This is what everyone's looking forward to. You can see them. Um, quick question: How many specks of black pepper are on this piece of chicken? I don't know the answer to that, nor will I ever. And here they are, though. I like that it comes in a little plate. I actually do. I think it's a good presentation. You know, it's, it's very simple, but I think it's good presentation on their part at Culver's. And uh, you just get a good view of them. I can smell the aroma of them. I'll just take a tender here, and I'll put this out to catch any crumbs and the like. So this is your boneless, or not wood. It, actually, it is boneless. It's a chicken tender. Um, but this actually is your buffalo, your buffalo chicken tender. You can see it has a little bit of an orange hue to it. And uh, there it is. So, well, I think we know what it looks like. I think you've been able to sufficiently see it. I'm going to try it, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So it's the buffalo chicken tenders from Culver's. Go again.
Can you hear that? Neither could I. The, uh, you know, when it comes to these types of chicken tenders, admittedly, it's, you know, it's sometimes hit or miss. Sometimes they might taste mediocre, but they need a sauce. And without any sort of sauce, they're just, it's, you know, nothing that you would ever want to have again. Sometimes they're good enough that they hold their own. And that, you know, the sauce accompaniment is fine, but these are perfectly fine as they are. What are these? These fall in the latter category, where I'm, I'm actually pretty taken back by how good these are. Uh, because when you see something, admittedly from a burger place, I, I've always noticed this, the sides that they don't really put maybe as much emphasis on are either terrible, because they're neglected, no one cares about them, corporate doesn't care about them, and the workers prepare them once every couple of weeks and that's it, and uh, they're bad, or they're actually surprisingly good, and this is one of those cases. The chicken tenders themselves, number one, the quality of the chicken, I mean, it, it really surprised me here. The quality of the chicken is very good, in my opinion. Uh, the chicken is actually juicy, it's tender, it's literally teeming. Uh, teeming with moisture and flavor, and it's just very good overall. I think back to back when McDonald's, when they used to have the blessed, um, what were those things called? The, you know what I'm talking about, the chicken selects. The blessed chicken selects. Where they would get so much praise and acclaim, and I'd try them, and they'd be like these dry, these dry, overbreaded pieces of chicken, and you desperately needed sauce to give any sort of moisture to them. And this doesn't need that. They're nice and breaded too, they have a nice crunchiness to them. Again, they're teeming with flavor, they're very good as they are, and they have a spiciness too, adding to that crunch. The spiciness is in the breading there, so really once you get that crunch unlocked and unleashed, you can say, uh, then comes the spiciness as well. You can really taste a bit of that chili pepper there, it's the, I guess the main, you know, the main culprit of the, the spiciness here. Uh, but it really, I mean, you get a bit of everything here, though. I really give them credit on this because I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. You get good quality chicken, you get some crunchiness to them too, and then you get a noticeable spiciness as well. Nothing incredible the spiciness is. I mean, it's nothing like uh, the one uh, Suicide Wings I did from Planet Wings where I was dying there. It's not like that, um, but it's a spiciness. You know, you might need a little bit of water, perhaps from Starbucks, uh, that you can, you know, guzzle down, and uh, maybe a soda if you, you're, you know, if you'd like to go that route. Um, but Overall, just gives you some nice flavorful spiciness. That's the best way to describe it, I guess. And some good quality chicken, too, and uh, a nice crunch from the breading, too. And, um, as the aftertaste, there's a little bit of a spicy aftertaste on, so I can kind of taste a little bit of the black pepper as well. Not too much the paprika, but that's fine. You know, I'm, I wasn't sitting there saying, oh, gosh, I hope I taste that paprika. And I doubt you will be either. Um, but really, you can really taste the chili pepper and that black pepper. Uh, really shines through and again, I think it's good. I'm pleasantly surprised by it and for the price uh, which was Let's see 532 for a uh, four piece and 1064 for an eight piece, you know chicken tenders are always a little pricey But Admittedly, I think these are pretty good. Uh, I think they're worth the money. You're getting your money's worth They're good quality and you get really what you pay for and maybe then some out of ten Therefore, what am I going to be rating? the buffalo chicken tenders from Culver's. Out of 10, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna give these chicken tenders, you know, I've been rating some things high lately, but they deserve it. And this most certainly does deserve it. Uh, it's gonna get a 9.38 out of 10. It deserves this rating, it's good, and if you go to Culver's, do not underestimate this chicken. You might think it's a burger joint, and perhaps it is, but their chicken uh, really holds its own as well, and it's something I would recommend if you're in that mood and you still wanna go to Culver's. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all that I have for you. I'm your host of the Report of the Week, and today's review was for the Buffalo Chicken Tenders from Culver's. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching, and take care. We'll see you later. Well, shoot. I forgot something. Isn't that something? I shut the camera off, and I was sitting there. Now I look. Didn't even try this. And I guess that goes, really, to the point where this doesn't need any blue cheese. You know, the, it doesn't need anything to cool the flames, but... For you blue cheese fanatics out there, uh, we've restarted the operation, and uh, we'll just quickly try this too. So it's the blue cheese from Culver's. Um, 
Let's open it up. It's you can see the beautiful um, prismatic hues there on the uh, on the packaging there, and I hope it's a beautiful blue liquid there, like the name clearly implies that it is. If we can get this open, it's going to splatter everywhere, most likely. Is it spoiled? I don't know why it's this color, but why would they lie like that and call it blue cheese when it's white? Anyway, uh, let's just really quickly dip this in and I'll let you know how it is and then we'll wrap things up officially. Yeah, I'm not particularly feeling the blue cheese. It, it's not a needed sauce of any any sort. Um, it kind of contributes a flavor of its own that really could, you know, doesn't work the best of this chicken. You know, truth be told, it does cool the flames a little bit, but to be quite honest, it doesn't need this. Um, and get it if you'd like, it's completely free of charge, but really, I would recommend you just eat these as they are because uh, it's one of those things that just doesn't, doesn't need a sauce. Well, that's all that I have for you now, officially, um, to prevent this assessment from uh, reaching the 30-minute mark. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, officially, I am your host, Support of the Week. That's all that I have for you. Today's review was for the Culver's uh, Buffalo Chicken Tenders with blue cheese dressing. And that's all I have for you. We'll see you later, and take care.